Try not to worry about what the rates are doing. Try not to worry about what the market's doing. No one's ever woke up and called me and said, Scott, I wanna buy and sell because of the interest rates. They do it because of those decisions that we talked about, lifestyle changes, pay changes. So focus on that first. But you're right, we've got to be prepared for these higher interest rates that we're at right now. Now, Matt, personally speaking, I'm not too concerned about it. Now, I'm a little biased because I've seen rates at 8%, which is when I bought my first house in early 2000s. Our parents in the 90s and 80s, they were 12, 14, 18%. So even though they're higher than average now, they're not terribly high when it comes to the his, history of the U.S. for rates. And people still bought houses in the 80s, I'm assuming. People still bought houses in the 80s. Now, the big kicker on this is that rates flex. And what I mean by that, Matt, is that they go up and down. Mm -hmm. I like to use me as an example. When I bought in 2000, it didn't stop me when the rate was 8% because I knew at one point I'm going to be able to do a refinance. But Matt, I don't think home values are going down. And here's why. They're not making any more land out there. We all know that. The biggest thing, though, is a large majority of homeowners refinanced during COVID into those low interest rates of 2 3%. I think a lot of people and consumers are forgetting that it's going to take a lot for those sellers to want to get rid of that low interest rate. So I think with that, along with the lack of land and the lack of builds the last decade, inventory is going to continue to be our biggest challenge. But what's going to happen, Matt, when those rates go back down? you're going to have a saturation amount of more buyers that are going to jump back in the market because about 40% of buyers jumped out waiting for the rate to go down. Mm -hmm. Inventory is going to still be scarcely low because of those reasons we talked about. Buyers jump back in. You now have your supply still here really low. Now your demand is even higher. I actually think values will be going up. The reason I think this is important for consumers to think about is that Yes, you might be financing a little bit more right now, but if you can budget that higher payment, I know there's a lot of light at the end of the tunnel where we're gonna be able to refinance, lower that payment dramatically, sometimes reduce PMI insurance because values keep going up, but it locks in the price of the home. Right. That's the key, is right now, you gotta lock in that price because I don't think those are going anywhere right now. 